Hello, this is my son's Kymco Agility City 50 or 50 City. He has been taking over this one from my daughter uh, and I showed you in an earlier video that uh, there were some features on this one. Now, what's not on this one is a switch between on or off in regards to low beam, high beam. Uh, for some reason, I've seen pictures on, on the internet and you have the switch on the left side, right side here. Here's nothing. So today, I want to have a stronger low high beam because we live in the wood, woods. And this is a xenon version that should fit in the hole here. This is 22 millimeter and be, be careful if you would order something like this that it can't be too wide. Now, this would be xenon and it's 35 watts, it's 6000 K. And um, this is the ballast. Uh, I'm going to install this in another way because, like I just said, there's no on or off for low beam. Uh, so, I'm going to use the right switch. So, when I start the vehicle, the moped, and then pull the right handle once, it will start the high low beam. Uh, I have a switch on the other side, high beam, low beam, but nevertheless, when I start this moped and it's a bad battery, it's not beneficial to have the low beam on because it's 35 watts, it's a couple of amps, it's like 3 amps, and it's a 12, volt, 12 amp battery, it's twice the size from the original one. But nevertheless, starting the moped with a pretty bad battery will actually be hard to start. It's something with this moped or uh, in the electronics to, to uh, ignition coil or something. So I'm going to remove this one. It's one, two, three behind this uh, uh, lid. Four, five, six. It's six screws. I'll get back. Okay, so I removed the five, six screws. Total of six screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. I would be able to take away this pop up this front. I have some uh, uh, wiring here I can release. See here? Okay, so also I'm going to remove this screw uh, uh, for keeping the wire in place. Okay, so now it's loose. I want to see if it actually fits. That's the first step. Is it possible to put this it's an H H4? I guess you have different names on it, so I can fit it in here. It's it's just just that it's possible. Nothing more than just. And you have I earlier removed the other bulb. And you have this um metal thing, metal wire that would keep it keep it in place. So uh, you don't see this but actually I'm not sure with one thing. I can remove this part so I can attach this never touch this uh, glass on the xenon to keep it nice. You see like this now it's easier to actually put it in and have the the lock uh, metal uh, wire uh, locked for for the English okay so easy like a pancake now it's fitted now I will take this part here and Pop it in. Is it on the right side? I <laughs> actually need to check. Is it possible to do it in another way? Yes, it was. Okay, so uh, this is the way. Now, looks pretty nice, right? You see? Looks good. Okay, so that was the absolutely easiest part. I'm gonna put this away for a moment. 
Okay, so now to the electronic part. Here I have um, the old connector for this is the original connector, and this is what I now did remove because this is the, this is the LED. Uh, no fan worked pretty nice, but it didn't spread really good actually so i want some stronger light like i said we live in the woods so it would be beneficial to have really really good light so i'm going to remove this i'm going to show remove this old one the grommet is the orig original one for the moped so this is what i put in before pretty de pretty decent but not super duper okay and this grommet I will actually take over the other part before we proceed it's uh, this is to have uh, keep dirt away from the inside so uh, let's see if you can see what I'm doing here okay I'm gonna see it's a bit bigger but uh, not so much so actually it, it's there okay this I did this because the original wires are coming out here but it's pretty safe so now the bulb is there From the original oh, original one this is what you will see it's minus low beam high beam always measure now in this case green on this moped that ground it never it never sells so here for this function low beam high beam this wiring this is specifically for a scooter or a motorcycle this is the wiring oops this is supposed to go to minus and plus on the battery I will do it directly here behind the ignition key take it and you connect these two suckers to the light and this one is the ballast like I said this is a AC ballast uh, that's more preferable than DC uh, and it's a 35 watt rated input 12 volt, uh, 12 volt input current 3.5 amps it would be like 3 I guess and the peak would be 6.5 so don't have two thin wires it's just when it, you start but it's good to not have underrated uh, uh, wires so the power will stay in the wires or, or, the, or whatever I, I don't I don't know what I'm saying here but never had two uh, two small gauge on the wires so this one I can just put aside because it's uh, connectors so I'm gonna focus on this one Plus and minus, like I said, I have ground here. I can take it from whatever. Um, and here you have. Uh, what's that? What? That's going to go directly. Yes. Um, this one. Sorry, this one. This is. I don't know which one right now. Low beam, high beam. So it's pulse. It gives you a pulse or uh, it stay. It's like a relay inside here, I guess. So you have the main power is from here. This is just like the signals that you should switch or um, you should have high beam on or low beam on. So I will check which wires I'm gonna pick for this different parts. Okay, actually I need to remove this one because I just want to have an input from this right one 
The left one is already fixed. I need to do, do this with a couple of diodes to separate them. Because when you start this moped, you need to uh, have the left, uh, left brake uh, pulled, uh, not the right. So they should be separate because the intention with this is to have when you start the vehicle, you start the uh, front lights. Okay, so I'm removing uh, this one. I just push in these four ones and I can take it out and put it aside carefully. And then I have, uh, I will see if I remember. Uh, yeah, I need to remove on this side the screw. And on this side, I think it was one here. tricky so be careful because you have small um, this is not screws you need to like um, feel a bit how maybe I should take this four screw I don't know what I did now it's small hatches up here so don't break them and now it's still like oops. Nowadays what I shouldn't do that is to be on a bad surface. Okay, I lost that screw, but now it should be uh, free. See I try to pop this up a bit like this. to remove these ones. I forgot about that one. Ah. For some time I did this. Okay, so now we will be able to access the wires here. You should access them here, but I don't have I don't have the schematics right now. And we we'll pop it up there. over here. And now we will be able to get to the screws. Where are they? Okay, I have one screw here. Show you. Actually. I have one screw here and one on the other side. So we'll just see if I can easily remove these ones. I can show you more.
careful to not drop the screws. So, okay. As you, I wasn't so thorough showing you, we have these screws here, here and here. And here we did took away just a minute ago. So now we have all access. So what I'm looking for here is it's a brake light. Here, there's the switch coming here. Okay, so I've been oop, doing some work. Oh, okay, look what happened. I've been doing some work before on this one, so uh, I need to figure out what I actually did. So I think I would be able to take, I'm going to take away the insulation here and see what I did. I can't remember actually. Okay, I'm gonna measure now. I did. <coughs> I had to put the battery in. Okay, so this one is. Okay, I'm gonna measure that I get when ignition is on. I have the brake light, so I let's see how this looks. Some ground here. I've got 12 volts here. So the black one gives 12 volts, doesn't matter how, with what, uh, you can see it. Well, the battery is pretty low, so it, it will, let's say it's 12 volt. It's just that the battery is weak and it will be lowered. So now this green, oh, this green, yellow one, should I get, hmm, can get, get some better connection here. Okay, so one is feeding and the other one is no. Okay, so we have there it is. Eleven, 11 volts, zero volts. Okay, so into the small uh, switch here comes twelve volt through the black wire, and out when you pull the handle. You will have high here. This is what we want. We want high. This is the first step. We want high when the engine is on or ignition is on. Let's more say that it's running. I have zero right. I'm just going to double check here. So this is actually ignition, I guess. So this one is going on the ignition. Now I'm going to cut this wire. No, I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to do the switch feature, and I guess it's pretty cool, right? Uh, I would need a relay, so it will be self-latching from the ignition once you gave it a pulse in order to start the low beam. So hold on. Okay, what I didn't really was so detailed about was I'm going to put a relay, but also a, a scotch uh, a diode. So at now, I don't need to show, but now when ignition is on and I, I pull this handle, yeah, it's 12 volt, but it's also 12 volt if I do it from the other side of the other handle. So I need to isolate it. So it only will be a signal to the low beam when 
you pull the right hand. Hey.
Oh, you're looking. Sorry. Uh, I have this diode here. So in here, out here, you have a small round mark here. So it would be from the pulse to going through. It doesn't go the other way. So I just measured and checked. Now here, when I push the right handle, I get 12 volts. When I push the left handle, I get nothing. So this is the trigger for the relay. So I'm going to solder that now. Okay, so if you see here, this is uh, the small ring here, where the mark is on the right side. So here comes plus in to the handlebar and to the switch. And when you pull it, you get 12 volt out here and it will go in this direction, but not the opposite. So we have uh, isolated it from the left uh, brake switch. I'm gonna do some insulation here. Well, I didn't tell you, it's a 1M5401. I don't know how to pronounce it in English, but I think it's called a Skotsky diode. So it will give you power with a 0.5 amp loss, 0.5 volt loss in one direction and um, uh, and nothing comes back. So something like this should be fine. So actually now we don't need to do anything more up here. We needed this signal. That's it. So I'm not going to put this back because we're going to test it first. I'm just going to have this wire going down because it's mechanical movement here. And uh, we need to isolate it so you don't We'll have any problems with the steering. Okay, so I accidentally cut the ground wire. It doesn't matter. It's I'm gonna take ground to power the ballast and for the relay, which is gonna be latching. And so I'm gonna solder this back and uh, like I said before, green wire that's ground uh, on a moped. Okay, so I've soldered it back. I have ground to the ballast and and ground to the relay and I'm gonna uh, have some insulation here. Okay, so now we have the pulse, we have minus, we have power, which I'm gonna take, this is to the ignition, is ignition switch. So I'm gonna take this power uh, for the ballast. Okay, so now I have also connected uh, power, which I might have said, and high beam, which I uh, could see that this is the blue wire reference here. The wiring is coming here to this connector, which I'm not going to use anymore. So I'm just keeping it back here in the uh, wiring harness in the back here. So now I'm going to have ignition uh, and uh, fix the pulse. Okay, so now I have a small relay. It's uh, uh, have a current consumption of 16 milliamps itself. So that's a tenth of like this OK relay or bigger car relays. It can handle up to 10 amps. And as we as we just are going to have the sorry, we're just going to have the the signal uh, for uh, low beam or high beam or start of xenon lights itself i it's a five pin it's plus minus and going through so i'm going to solder it and show you the functionality okay guys i've been busy doing some stuff i needed one more relay actually so now we have two relays i'm going to do a test run here and see uh, if it works the first relay is is the auto the stay latching relay when ignition is on and you have uh, pressed the, the right uh, handlebar the right uh, brake switch brake switch it will latch and stay latched until you turn off ignition the other relay will latch uh, also and let ha letting the low beam go through uh, when the first one has latched first. So actually, I, I can try it out now. 
I'm just gonna hook up these two. I need to start the moped uh, in w and have it running like one minute because they say it's critical the first minute uh, when you um, start a uh, xenon light bulb. I'm connecting these, this, and now we're gonna get the the low beam. I'm gonna connect the two wires here. I'm gonna do some quick insulation here. I don't really like this. Uh, just so I don't do any, anything stupid here now. Just to keep it like this. Take some more. Yeah. Do the yes, you have done some mistakes or I have done some mistakes and Oh, what do you do? There. This is, this is going to be so cool if it works. Really. And you will have easier way to start the vehicle. Uh, you don't need to turn off the light if you do know that you have a bad battery or something like that. So, I shouldn't do This can also take some more here. Um, I need to hide it in here so it's mechanically stable. Um, okay, this is ballast, and you connect this one to uh, hmm, no super quality on this connector and you have this one and okay so now we're connected now actually uh, it should be just gonna do this so you can see